All, the, all that conditioning creates literally a firewall towards deeper truths that live within you. And only certain truths are, quote unquote, allowed to surface. Listen, there are people who are, who love the idea of spiritual love. We're all one, we're all, we're all one big family. Uh, love is all you need, isn't it? Just a song, I guess. And that the essence of spirituality is love. And even as I'm speaking here, I can see the panel here, and it's, oh, yes. Okay, you just say the word love, and they're like, oh, yeah. I was walking yesterday, coming back home, there's a store with a t-shirt, and it says, love, that's all. Something like that, some kind of nonsense like that. And then I imagine myself wearing that t-shirt, going to some kind of party, and what kind of conversation or icebreaker that would be. It lasted about four seconds. But nevertheless, it's because the t-shirt caught my attention. So people want to believe, some people want to believe in this idealistic, utopic, magical world where love is everywhere. Wonderful, I have no problem against that, genuinely, from the bottom of my heart. Yes, but we're all one. Yeah, whatever the fuck you want to believe, that's fine. The point is, what happens now, if you dig underneath the surface, and then you realize that, well, you're very upset. Starting with, you detest your mom. You detest your father, you detest your siblings, you detest your boss, you detest your sister, you detest your goddamn refrigerator. Hell, you can't even stand it, your fucking cat. What, just for the sake of conversation, because that would never happen to you, because you're full of love, I know. But what happens if you scratch beneath the surface? Remember, the surface is whatever you want to make yourself believe. Do you understand? So it's Halloween, it's the best example. Of course, in ha at Halloween, what did I dress up as? Dracula, what else? So as Dracula, it's Halloween party. So now I'm pretending to be Dracula. If you and some people, the whole Halloween party, they hold the gimmick. The whole every encounter they play as Dracula. Some people are fucking weird, right? Right? You're, you're holding character. So this is your character. So you say hello, you walk, you pretend, and you ha, huh, you're gonna bite somebody. You do the whole Dracula thing. This is surface. You can condition yourself at the level of the surface just like I can for a whole evening pretending I'm Dracula or some terrorist. That's me opening the shirt with the bombs, not Superman, right? Wonderful. So at the surface, you can condition yourself, and if, you, if, you, if you're really, really, really sincere and your life depends on it, it's going to hold it. It's going to stay there. And then you're going to have certain kinds of ways of eating and certain kind of patterns of behavior that is just going to like cement is the word. Cement it. It will cement it. But you can never go a little deeper than that because then you will discover a deeper reality, a deeper truth that you, you, can't, you can't handle the clash. So back to the people who believe in universal love and all this lovely stuff. Wonderful, I got no problem with that. But then what happens if you go beneath your facade that always smiles, always acts nice, is always there to help humanity, right? All your psyche doesn't exist, doesn't count. Literally 99% of your being, we just evaporated and inst instituted ourselves in a superficial one layer of an onion where you believe in love and you are there to help follow you, your fellow human beings to reach a higher state of consciousness so that we can enter the fifth dimension together as one. Great. Fortunately for you, you never get to see what's beneath. Because if you would scratch us a little bit, uh oh. Well, what does that mean? That's it. The idea of yourself shattered. What are you going to do with those energies? And you've been conditioned. This is, you've conditioned yourself. Whatever bullshit you believe in, whatever religious system or religious so called spiritual movement that you've bought into conditioned you or participated in you conditioning yourself to believe that anything else is evil. And now you are now evil. Well, how, well, how you make amends with this? I'm evil. I'm a bad person. Yet you have no idea what those energies are. You don't understand the, uh, these energies. You don't understand where they come from. You don't understand to which degree they've been repressed. You don't understand what they're pushing you towards, what they want, what they're trying to teach you. You don't know anything of those energies. All you know is that they're bad. Once upon a time, you'd go in a certain kind of country. These people, bad people. But why? Bad people. And we invent a story. Because of these people, this happened. Bad people. Yeah, but you've never spoken to them. No, they're bad people. Same. These energies, bad. And we've given them names. And these names mean something bad. To which we've associated stories. 
or images or mythology that tells you why that was bad. And when you do that and those energies are there, bad. So you mean to tell me that when that energy is gonna, uh, uh, let's pretend for a sake of conversation that there's like a little crack in, for a moment in your cement reality of your perfect self. Well, there's a little crack and there's a little bit of something that comes out. You know the anxiety, the level of anxiety that you are gonna experience? For most of you it's unbearable. Because you're evil. <laughs> you're fucked. Imagine 